All right, so let's uh, do some problems related to the cash budget. So it looks like our first item up here is a multiple choice question. It says when preparing the cash budget, all of the following should be considered except. Okay. <clears throat> cash receipts from customers, depreciation expense, cash payments to suppliers, and cash payments for equipment. Well, this is about the easiest question that you're ever going to find. And the answer is depreciation expense. And you should have been able to go through those and pick that answer out very, very easily. Um, but we want to keep that in mind because whenever we get into more complicated uh, calculation type questions, we will need to uh, understand uh, a little bit about depreciation and how it impacts the cash budget. They sell the uh, Simple Life and the Fancy Life. Simple Life sells for $85. And Fancy Life sells for 100 Company sells all of its jeans on credit and estimates that 60% is collected in the month of the sale, 35% is collected in the following month, and the rest is considered to be uncollectible. The estimated sales for uh, Simple, I guess Simple Life jeans, are uh, January 20,000 pairs, February 27,500 pairs, and March 25,000 pairs of jeans. The estimated sales for February are uh, 18,000, I'm sorry, the estimated sales for fancy jeans are January 18,000, February 19,000, and March 20,000 pairs of jeans. What are the expected cash receipts for the month of March? Okay. Month of March. All right. So, uh, let's see here. Let's do this. Let's make a column for simple and another column for fancy is what they're calling. It. Okay. So, for the simple jeans, let's see here. It says that they collect 35% in the following month, and they're asking about March. So we're going to need to know February and March. All right, so let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Simple 27,500 pairs of jeans. And what we're going to need to can, to figure out cash, uh, it like doesn't look like we have any sales discounts, is we need to know what the price per jean or per pair of jeans is. And then we need to know how much we're going to collect. Uh, let's see here. We sold 25,000 pairs of the simple in March. Okay. So in February, we sold 27,000. 500 pairs, uh, but we're going to actually, and we sold them for $85 a piece on credit. We're going to collect 35% of that in the month of March. So these are, this is for February sales. March sales, we sold 25,000 pairs of these simple jeans times the same 85. And we're going to collect 65% in the month of March. So this F right here stands for February. For fancy, uh, let's see here. We um, sold 19,000 pairs of jeans 
in February. And we're selling those for $100 a pair. And in the month of March, we're going to collect that same 35%. And it looks like we sold 20,500 pairs in the month of March times $100 per pair uh, times 60%. So <clears throat> let's get our fancy calculator out here. And let's do some basic equations. We're going to start right over here. 27,500 times 85 times point. Whoops, I made a mistake. Let's start over. 27,500 times 85 times 0.35 equals. Eight one eight one two five. Okay, and then let's do our simple. We sold twenty five thousand pairs in March times eighty five times point six, and that looks like what is that? One, two, seven, five, zero, zero, zero. Looking over here, we have nineteen thousand uh, pairs of the fancy jeans that we're collecting on from February. And if we execute this out, I didn't leave myself much room here. We've got six hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars, and then March we sold twenty thousand five hundred times one hundred dollars a pair times point six equals. Uh, one, two, three, zero, one million two hundred thirty thousand. Okay. So I'm just going to I'm going to leave that number on my calculator and then I'm going to add the 665,000 Now I'm going to add this 1.275 million and then this 818,125 So if we take all four of these figures you should come up with three million nine hundred eighty eight thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars okay this video is getting a little bit long so let's go ahead and stop that and we'll come back and do another one